if it, if it bro tending. Yo, what's up guys? Thanks for coming back to Bro Tending and checking me out. Bo the Bro Tender celebrating one of the biggest birthdays of the year. Maybe the most important birthday of the year. America's birthday, baby. And um, a little backstory, you know, with uh, this week coming up. I was like, man, I, I really want to do something I want to do it right I want to you know I'm proud to be an American I want to make a really cool bro tending episode something I'd be proud of something that everybody would be interested in to celebrate their 4th of July what cocktail what drink do I make so I got to thinking I even got on Google I said hey Google what did George Washington drink when he was kicking it with his boys Thomas J Benjamin Franklin what were they drinking Google came back at me couple internet sites and I found out that they liked a drink called the Philadelphia Fish House Punch I love the name then you know what I almost wish I went with that because what a great name of a cocktail that is and uh, but I didn't um, maybe I'll do it in a future episode or something but I was really kind of leaning towards something with a little homegrown ingredient something called Kentucky bourbon mm hmm but I got thinking again and I remembered I got this good friend who's been a fan of the bro tenant channel he's been a fan of me and I've been a fan of him we've been boys we've been tight for a long time he's and you know what he hit me up back in April when I was starting these stupid fun uh, funny little videos and uh, he said hey bro I said what's up bro he said I'd love to see you do an old-fashioned and I said hell yeah so what a better time than to show you guys how I make an old fashioned. And uh, a quick shout out to my buddy Casey. Uh, thanks for being my boy. I call him Casey. The rest of y'all can call him Dr. Kenneth Staples. Um, he's a hell of a guy. The dude served four years in the Navy when he was a young buck. He came back home, eventually met a great woman, then went on to become a doctor and my friend Cheers to you, brother. Cheers to everybody else. Proud to be an American. Thank you for checking me out. Here's this beautiful American cocktail, the old fashioned, bro tender style. Let's get into it. Kentucky bourbon. Ir -ir -ir bro tending. All right, guys, here's the setup. It got me a nice little bottle of 750 milliliter bourbon. Elijah Craig, good middle of the road. Tastes good. Strong caramel notes, very sweet, just like a bourbon should be. Uh, not a lot of burn, and uh, for only 35 bucks, I, th I think it's a great deal. Um, so to start with this cocktail, we're gonna get your bourbon, you got your bitters, and I filled that tin up with some ice. Go ahead and pour me a nice healthy shot of that Elijah Craig. Mm -hmm. Something about mi mixing up uh, bourbon drinks makes me want to talk like. Uh, what was that guy's name? Buzzsaw, blade saw, swing, sling blade. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Go ahead and do three healthy shakes of that Angostura bitters in that tin cup. After that, we're gonna go ahead and get the sugar. So, old fashioned, very simple cocktail. You got your bourbon, you got three shakes of bitters, and you need some sugar. Now, I think the traditional recipe calls for a cube of sugar and you muddle it with an orange and a maraschino cherry. Uh, it's a little, a little too much for me, a little too snooty, a little too fruity. Um, I'm gonna show you what I like to garnish with here in a minute, but go ahead, definitely gonna do a healthy um, bit of sugar in this thing to sweeten it up a little bit so it doesn't taste just like a straight old shot of bourbon with ice. Um, gotta have uh, maybe three, four pinches of sugar, three shakes of bitters, healthy shot of that bourbon, and you gotta stir this bad boy. Don't shake it, makes the whiskey all cloudy, doesn't look appealing. You gotta stir it, keep that whiskey looking crystal clear, and um, take your time with it. Um, as you can see, I'm 
stir in it uh, um, at least 30 seconds long. Get it nice and chilled, melt that ice in there, kind of water it down a little bit. It needs a little help with that water because uh, this, I mean, this particular bourbon, I believe is 94 proof. So uh, no shame in watering it down a little bit. And lastly, we're gonna go ahead and cut a little slice of lemon. Unlike videos before, we're not gonna squeeze the lemon in the beverage. We're going to make a twist. And by that, you're just gonna shove that, shove your fingernail underneath the, uh, the meat of the fruit there. And what you got left is just the, the rind. We're gonna twist it um, like a spiral. And it's gonna release all kinds of, uh, I guess, uh, fruit oils, uh, some zest. Spread it around the glass there to kind of give it a nice aroma. And dip it gently in your glass. And there you have an official bro tender old fashioned. All right, guys, there it is the old fashioned. Um, Y'all have a great and safe 4th of July weekend. And uh, until next time, bow the bro tender over and out. Elijah Craig. Eerie, eerie.